War on Poverty programs helped everybody, blacks and whites, particularly in the South. The damaging thing is that the extremists now suggest they almost colorize those programs and try to suggest that they're helping the lazy and helping you know, African Americans and the undeserving. Uh, that's the new term, the undeserving. The fact of the matter is things like food stamps help children come out of poverty. Social Security brought so many senior citizens out of poverty and keeps them out of poverty. Uh, unemployment benefits you know, help people rise up when they've lost their jobs and no fault of their own. The great travesty of where we are in North Carolina right now with this extremist is they've moved from a war on poverty to a war on the poor. Now that's not my words, that's the words of a Republican government. Governor Kasich out of Ohio said that when his party denies Medicaid expansion, for instance, that would, that would be paid for at 100% by the federal government, he says that's a war on the poor. And that is an ugly legacy for any governor or legislature to have when history is written that instead of lifting up all people and elevating all people, they cut safety nets for the poorest among us, but then gave advantage to the wealthiest among us. That's why we even have wealthy people marching with us on Mar Monday. We've had millionaires, people who know this is just wrong. You're going to see us in the legislature. You're going to see us in every city and county throughout this state. You're going to see us mobilizing in Freedom Summer. The summer will be our 50th anniversary Freedom Summer. We're going to have our own. You will see us mobilizing at the poll. You'll see us on social media. You'll see us debating. We are a broad-based, anti-racist, anti-poverty, pro-justice, pro-love, pro-constitution, deeply moral uh, coalition, and we're not going anywhere.